Hey everybody, this is Joe. Thank you for watching my Giga Texas construction update video. Coming out of Cyber Rodeo and the presentations that were made, there is a host of new information that uh, I'm going to begin a new series starting today looking into quite a bit of that. And for today, we're going to look into the official renderings that Tesla has released for the first time on Giga Texas and see what we can figure out. So here are two of the renderings that have been released about Giga Texas. They're both from the southwest looking northeast. And I've included a recent photo that I took of the same area so that you can compare. So let's go through each of these and see what is the same and what is changed and what we can look forward to in the coming months. So let's start on the roof and take a look at what we can expect. We see that the roof and solar panels are going to have full coverage across the entire roof with walk and or access pathways. We can see very clearly how the Tesla will appear and note that uh, there's just the centralized HVAC ducts where they are currently and we will not be seeing additional equipment on top of the roof which is a little bit different than some of the other factories. Next we can see in that far northeast clearing area this is where the battery cathode plant has been relocated you can see that clearly here. Uh, note that the building is not oriented north-south like the main building and we're actually seeing that with the foundation as it's taking shape now. And also note that it appears to be a long and relatively thin building. Right adjacent to the battery cathode plant we can see that the Martin Marietta batch plant where the concrete is uh, made has been relocated in this picture and that's something we've been talking about for quite some time. But I would expect to see now, based on the construction and the status of Giga Texas, that we'll probably see that fairly soon, maybe by summer. Also in that same general area, we can see that the old bag plant has been removed. I uh, spoke to some contractors very recently that are bidding on the demo work, and uh, I think that contract will be let pretty soon, so we should expect to see the demolition of the old bag plant by the summer. What's interesting in that same area is we do not see any indications of the electrical substation or the mega pack, which is part of the new permit that we discussed on my 6 April video. Uh, the, we don't see that here now, but it could be because the final designs aren't made or Tesla doesn't want to release that at this time. Another interesting omission there is that Tesla Road is not actually shown, or certainly it doesn't show that it extends farther to the east. Again, this may be because that area is still under flux as far as the plans, or there may be some other reasons, but I thought I would point that out. Looking over towards the east, we can see a perimeter road that uh, follows along the Colorado River, proceeds to the south around the South Reflection Pond, and then west underneath the South Bridge. And here using the other render, you can see how that perimeter road continues to the south around the pond and underneath the South Bridge. Another interesting omission is any red stripe or any other markings on the actual building itself. So I don't see Tesla or the logos on the walls of the main building. And again, looking at this particular rendering, what is missing is that extended window line on the southeast and south of the stamping machine structure. This may mean that this particular rendering is a little bit obsolete and further changes may be coming. So we'll have to keep that in mind. Note here that south uh, phase two area looks like it's just a parking lot and it does not indicate, at least in this rendering, that the building will be lengthened as per Elon's tweet about uh, a year ago or so that suggested that may be the case. We can also see three new cyber berms on the south end. They're a little bit more extensive to the ones that we see on the north end, but they're of a similar shape or similar uh, construction method than what we've already seen. Another interesting detail is it appears that there will actually be a turnaround and a frontage road to allow southbound traffic on the highway to proceed under the bridge and then proceed northbound. So we'll be looking for that in the coming weeks and months. We can also see on this rendering something that many viewers have asked questions about, and that is the continued lack of a lot of docks and access points around the building. And this makes Giga Texas very different than the other Giga factories, and I think that's because most of the transport happens internally. Perhaps a small detail, but it looks like there is a lit Tesla sign on one of the uh, corners near the road, as you can see in the inset. I'm not sure, we can't see right now, but there may be a similar one on the north end. We see quite a bit of trees and foliage planted around the pond and the road area. So far this hasn't happened. Most of the concentration of work has been on the north end, but this is something we can expect to see soon. Looking up in the northwest corner, it's hard to tell for sure, but it appears that there may be some sort of a privacy or security wall 
planned around the current observation point. Uh, so we'll have to watch out for this to see if construction here continues. So there you have it. We have official renderings now to look at, which is outstanding. And then we compare that to what we see, as you can see the photo here today. A lot of work remains. What's really great to see is that a lot of the details and the information that uh, I've been given along the way seems to be bearing fruition to these images. Um, but uh, I'm curious if you've noticed something that I missed. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I hope that you found this discussion helpful. A special thank you to all of my outstanding Patreons for your continued encouragement and support. Patreon members get access to hundreds of high-resolution photos, previews of the future material, and direct dialogue with me. If you would like to support my channel, please consider becoming a patron using this link, which is also in the video description. Please also consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons as this helps as well. Thank you. My drones are ready and raring to go. Let's go flying over Giga, Texas.